Okay, birdie. You ready for company? Are you going to be nice? You going to see some friends? Oh, you said you're a good boy. You said you're a good boy. <laughs> you said you're a good boy. Okay. Okay. I love ya. So tonight is Friday, and my family has had this tradition for 30 years. I don't know. A really long time where we do Friday night dinners. And this has taken on a lot of different forms over the years, but the idea is that we just get together and we have supper together somehow, somewhere. So tonight we're gonna to be hosting. All of uh, my family lives here. My parents live here. My sisters and their families live here. So it's not rare that we get together, but it's still really, really special, even after all these years of doing it. So we're gonna have, oh, that's bright. <laughs> We're gonna have a little bonfire here tonight. That's it, we're just gonna stand around a fire and stare at each other. I would like to thank Nature Sweet for sponsoring today's video. I know you've seen them, you've gone to your grocery store, they're these little beautiful red cherub tomatoes. And as you're at your grocery store and as you're shopping for brands, it's good for you to know that October is Fair Trade Month. All of Nature Sweet tomatoes are fair trade certified, and this provides workers with educational opportunities and funds for community development projects. In Mexico, there's human right issues in the tomato fields that supply the majority of U.S. grocery stores and restaurants. Supporting fair trade companies is how you as the consumer fight back against these unfair practices and instead work with companies like Nature Suite that are giving their workers a living wage and really treating them fairly. All of Nature Sweet Tomatoes are fair trade certified, and this provides workers with educational opportunities and funds for community development projects. You can help celebrate Fair Trade Month by selecting Nature Sweet Cherubs from your local grocery store. finish the chili sure thing <laughs> and how about the dishes no <laughs> okay i just put the onion in so we're going to put in four tablespoons we're making a huge batch four tablespoons of cumin and maybe two or three of garlic powder I remember when i broke this you broke that yeah did you admit that to me then yeah i told you <laughs> Okay, so in here we've got, I don't know, five or six onions and probably eight pounds of ground beef. <laughs> it's a big pot. Okay, that was four? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do three of the garlic. I'll do four, we're not driving. Okay, we're also gonna add in some chili powder, which I have yet to label. There's that. <coughs> Spicy. Dusty. Fragrant. <laughs> Garlicky. Thank you. Okay. Oh man. Let's add, you know what? We should just add like half a cup. <laughs> How many tablespoons is in a cup? Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Three tablespoons, tablespoons equals, equals one fluid ounce. I don't remember what the song. How teaspoons many? and tablespoons. I was CC like, families, help me out. I'm, it's been a minute. I was very young. I don't remember. <laughs> I've blocked out most of my CC days. I don't remember most of them. <laughs> That's a shame. I okay. remember when Maverick gave me a snack because I forgot mine. Yeah, sweet Maverick. Okay. Um, let's do two of those. No, let's do three of those. This is a, this is a big old mess of chili. A big old mess of chili. Three? Three. Okay. Very good. All right. Now, I don't make my own tomato paste. I use this beautiful tomato paste from BioNature that I love. So we'll add both of those in. Ooh, 
you. But I am going to be using some, ooh, this is for later. This is my favorite cider. This is made here where I live. Um, some of our tomato sauce, posada, and some of our San Marzano whole tomatoes from last year. So we're going to add in six quarts of tomatoes. So. Was I supposed to grab a spoon and not a knife? A knife's fine. No big deal. I can't get that. If you put a little water in the jar, put the lid on and shake it up, it'll get all the remnants. Yes, Willie. Don't. Oh. Don't me. So before people come over, there's a few things that I like to do. One is I always light a candle. These candles are for sale in our shop, Limone. So you should check them out. They're in these beautiful terracotta pots. They're so sweet and they smell so good. So I always light a candle. I always vacuum the floor, which is maybe silly because I know that people are gonna tromp through here and it's gonna get dirty. But even still, I like to start, I just like it. So I vacuum that, I vacuum the kitchen, I wash the dishes. But as you can see, okay, yay, my cider. <laughs> okay, there is nothing fancy. We're gonna paper plates, paper bowls, paper napkins. We just got a big mess of chili. This has been simmering now for like five hours. Yum. And everyone's going to contribute something. See who it is? What? Oh, I think it's the water guy. <laughs> it's not even Dan and Papa. It's the water guy. Bring those, hey, uh, bring those water jugs out for him, will ya? Oh, it's the water guy. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, Birdie. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Great. I guess we'll just have Dad move this. <laughs> It's all right, bud. Dad can get it. <laughs> oh, wow. Are those going like, to make more of these? Or yeah, these are Cosmos. Oh. And see them? They're all gone to seed. Mm -hmm. So they'll come back next year if we just take them off like this. We put them where we want there to be some cosmos next year. They'll grow. Isn't that fun? Cool. Yeah. Put some in here. <laughs> I guess we'll have some in the pathway. Mm, yeah. Lindas keep laying eggs where they're not supposed to. Gotta leave one so they come back to it. At least then you know where the eggs are. Hi. Sorry. I disappoint you. Full speed over there. <laughs> Jerry. 
trees a shiver down my spine. Hopes and dreams, ambitions turn to rhyme. One moment in a 